Do you still miss your ex O'Neill? Do you guys still talk? And if the opportunity presents itself, would you guys get back together? Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. You thought I was feeling you? No. That nigga a munch, nigga eat it, he ate it for lunch. Bitch on my body, I get what I want. Like you thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch, nigga eat it, he ate it for lunch. Bitch on my body, I get what I want. Like bitch stay in balance, keep it up. Hey guys, I don't welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing me for the very first time, I'm done calling and I'm doing little bit of everything on this space. If you are a returning subscriber, get it done back. You know the vibes already. Don't be a stranger. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to come join the down gang because it's lit over here. Merry Christmas, guys. Seasons greetings. Happy holidays to everyone. I really do hope that everyone is, you know, doing okay. I personally am not feeling the Christmas vibes. Like, <laughs> I am so over it at this point. I'm really, really trying to, you know, stay in a good mood, like, keep my spirits lifted. This is like one out of many Christmases that I'm spending away from my family. It is kind of moody for me around this time every year and you know once again i'm spending christmas away from my family i'm one of the people that have not been home since i came to china and you know there's a lot that i missed out on birthdays holidays <sighs> i'm not about to come on here and you know make this moody for any of you but um yeah merry christmas guys i did put up a poll on my instagram telling guys that i was going to you know do a little get ready with me so basically i'm going to be doing my makeup and answering the responses that you know you guys sent in on my instagram anonymously <laughs> see so anyways, I'm going to do that and then later on, I'm going to go with my friends, you know, have a chill evening and I'm going to vlog. I will add that to this video. But um, yeah, let me get started with this question. See, I know I said you people should ask me questions, but some of you just, some of you really just, <laughs> some of you really just went all in like, ugh, I just, I can't. But I did say I'm going to answer as honestly as possible. But before we get into that, you know, I have my face primed, I've done my brows, I've concealed my spots, so I'm just going to carry on with the rest of my makeup. And uh, I'm just going to take a couple shots of this. I think two shots should take me throughout this video to give me the energy that I'm going for. I know I normally sip wine when I do stuff like this, but today we're doing something different i really just need to you know get my mood up so oh jesus <laughs> Woo! um oh my god okay so um uh for most parts of the world i don't think you guys are at christmas yet but i'll try to put up this video like the day after christmas if it's possible fingers crossed and oh, oh my god this alcohol is burning my chest jesus whenever this video comes up just let me know what it is that you did for christmas i personally achieved most of the things that i put on my vision board for 2022 and i'm very very grateful for that um the things that i couldn't achieve i'll just roll them over into next year it's no pressure you know i tried to let life happen you know at you know at its own pace i've seen myself in 2022 like changing and growing so much like i have grown exponentially in you know a lot of aspects and that is something i'm super grateful for 2022 has been very challenging it's really not been an easy year for me i will not even lie it's been from one thing to the other like i can't say that i've had like a genuine break this year because it's always something you know i'm taking five steps forward something is going to happen that's going to either try to stagnate me make me make like decisions that are like uh, going to change so much or it's just going to you know switch up everything you know just get me moving again and it's just i've not had the kind of stability that i was looking forward to having at all i'm going to still be grateful for life i'm grateful that my family is still here you know 2022 has been a mix of having the best time of my life and you know watching my life <laughs> fall into pieces 
but at the end of the day i'm still grateful for the experiences i'm grateful for the people you know that i met this year and i'm also grateful for still being here not giving up you know not going under not letting the situations you know hold me down hold me back or you know define me and i don't know if you didn't really have 2022 easy like i really really understand i feel your pain and you know i'm glad that you're here as well i do hope 2023 will be better but <sighs> what 2022 has put me through has put me in a state where you know it is what it is is my national anthem whatever 2023 wants to come with you know i'm gonna be ready because there's nothing 2022 around me that god just helped me put me in a situation where i overcame you know those adversities so i'm pretty sure i'll be fine i'm sure we will all be fine this is not really a question this says you're really attractive thank you so much you know there are days when i wake up and i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like oh, what the hell and then there are days when i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like oh, yeah you're that bitch I am that bitch like you know i wake up really feeding myself feeding all my features but then there's just days where my insecurities get the best of me but um thank you i really do appreciate that who was the last girl you texted honestly most of these questions were about my ex my sexuality girls very unnecessary things like you guys come on have you finished with med school there are two questions pertaining to med school the other one said, did you quit med school? No, I did not quit med school. I am still a medical student. I am supposed to graduate this year. I did do a life update like a while back this, this same year. And I spoke about that because, you know, I couldn't, I was supposed to graduate this year, but I couldn't because of financial issues. Um, I'll link the life update here for those of you that, you know, missed out on it. By God's grace, I should be able to, you know, round up in med school and, you know, close that chapter. I don't know, the COVID situation is just all over the place, but I am doing my internship online. I very much still want to be a medical doctor, if that's what, you know, aligns with where my life is headed, you know, in the future. But I had to get this degree. I have to finish what I started and the rest of it is up to God and feet, I guess. What were your profitable investments for 2022? My profitable investments for this year was my last business that I can have this business brand, Essential XB. I'm going to link it down below in the description box in case you want to support me. I sell lashes on there and I sold out like almost all my lashes. So if you like to do makeup, you're one of the girly girls, or you like to put on lashes, I have them, I got you know, in very, very nice, beautiful styles, okay? <laughs> do you still talk to your ex-boyfriend? What? Like, why? <sighs> oh my God. Jay, you people. What? what is your business with like my ex i don't understand you know and this is something that has really traumatized me because i shared that with you guys on my platforms it's become something that you know i cannot leave behind me i have moved on from what we had what we shared everything has finished it's all said and done why won't you guys like just let it go like someone please help me out like just help me solve this in the comment section because I'm tired and I do not still talk to him. What's your body count this year? <sighs> Shit, it's my fault. It's me. It's me that came to ask you people to ask me questions. It's my fault. And the problem is that even if I came on here and said my body count, like, or I said I haven't slept with anybody this year, nobody's still going to believe me because at the end of the day, you can't please people you can't satisfy people like you will still want to be like ah no that can't be true hello darling i remember vividly you once had a boyfriend here in china are you still together single or in a relationship it's the i remember vividly for me <laughs> if you remember vividly so what about me like i've been in other relationships when i came to china 
It's like, what do you people even want to do with this information? What? Are you going to get paid for distributing this information? Like, what exactly are you going to do with this information? Because I would like to know. And pertaining to if I'm single or I'm in a relationship, that's not something I'm going to deny or confirm on this space with you guys, you know? It is what it is. I'm in a relationship with Jesus Christ, our Savior. Okay? It's the season for his birth. We're all celebrating him at this moment. So, yeah. If you don't have a relationship with him at this point, I suggest that you start. Okay? Talk to me and I will show you how to have that relationship with our Lord and Savior. Okay? Why did you and O'Neill break up? Oh my God. I'm about to stop recording this video and just go out. I'm so over this right now. Why did you and your own ex break up? Why do people break up? Why do people end relationships? It's ended though. Huh? Jesus, God. If I see one more question about my ex, I'm going to actually lose it. What the hell? We're done. It has finished. It did not work out. Okay? There's no how I would have known that, you know, things would go this way. But the way things went after we broke up and the way, like, you guys won't let it go has just gone to, sh gone to show me that why I should never claim another relationship publicly. Except I'm married. Like, I'm married to this person. Like, I'm not going to come up. Or even if, like, I claim this relationship in public, like, you guys will not see the person have you ever slept with a girl <laughs> your mom yeah you can ask her this receipt i've come on here and i've told you guys like openly that i'm bisexual how the hell am i supposed to know that i'm bisexual if i've not been with a girl before <laughs> You guys are cracking me up. Are you judgmental? You know what? At the end of the day, everyone, I'm telling you, anyone that tells you they're not judgmental, they're lying. Everyone is judgmental. You could try your best not to be, because I try my best not to be, and there are a lot of situations where, you know, I'm not even judgmental in any way, shape, or form. Everyone gets judgmental, you know, in one way or the other. So, is your boyfriend gay? Yeah? Who? What? <laughs> I am not in any way, shape, or form attracted to gay men, like, sexually. What do you mean is your boyfriend gay? Who are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, I am... You know what? This is a trick question. You're trying to get me to say if I have a boyfriend or not. <laughs> I see what you did there. You will not catch me, yo. You will not catch me. God forbid. <laughs> you think you're wise. You will not catch me. I saw your stories once and you were kind of saying that you had anal sex. Have you though? Me. And me done. If you saw anything on my stories pertaining to anal sex, like I was um, responding to people's responses, people sent in responses anonymously and you know, I shared that I responded to. So how did you get it mixed up? Like what is it, how do you end up making it about me? Make it make sense. See, you guys, it's not every guy I bring on this channel, you know? Even if I will not confirm or deny, but like, it's not every guy I put on this channel that is my boyfriend. You people need to stop. It's not every girl I bring on here that is my girlfriend. It's not every person I put on here that I'm in a relationship with. Like, so you people don't think I'm capable of being single. You people don't rate me at all, though. Moving forward, what 2023 content are we expecting? As for content this in 2023, first off, like my engagement has really, really dropped. Like this is something I've never experienced before. I hope I don't get pushed to that point where you know I just decide to quit YouTube because i really try my best but it's like it's just it's not enough since i posted this shoe haul video my engagement has really really dropped i've been stuck at getting a toy or something we use i've been trying to figure out what it is that i'm doing wrong because all the content i'm putting out is content that i've always done and it's always done you know well like according to the number of followers i have and according to you know the type of content that i always do like it should do well 
so i don't understand why you know it's not doing well i feel like i'm wasting content i feel like the algorithm is not even helping me at this point so i'm just i don't know if you know i'm investing the energy like that i'm putting into but i don't know if i'm investing that energy in the right place i really don't like how you know it's making me feel so i really hope that i'll be able to you know stay consistent with putting out content 2023 content it go be because i've tried my best you know shout out to you guys that keep coming back to engage you know no matter what i put out no matter what i drop like you guys are constantly you know there for me you guys are constantly showing me love and support guys i do appreciate you guys so so much and now i'm gonna put on some highlighter i really hope this makeup is shine looking okay on camera oh, my face is looking very shimmery right now i don't hate it i'm going to finish this makeup look real quick and show you guys my hair and outfits and you know take you guys along with me while we go out with the girls okay i'll see you guys in a bit okay guys so this is my i don't know like i feel as i'm wearing like really tall heels right now but um this is my final look let me know what you guys think in the comments i wasn't going for anything too serious i um i'm wearing this like i don't know deep curly deep wave i don't know what it's called but like yeah i'm wearing this unit and i just thought like this is what i should go with and um yeah i i love what i'm wearing i'm gonna show you guys my full outfits and whatnot later i have a really simple jewelry it's very very chill tonight all right it's a very very chill vibe i can't wait to show you guys how i'm looking it's really simple who wears blue on Christmas Day? Me, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, I will check in with you guys very soon. Tommy, Tommy, say hi. Hi. Uh, you guys, you, you're gonna get to see our drip very soon. We're ready. Nobody play with you here. Beasley, say hi. Uh uh. No, you can't sit with us. Are you mad? Nobody can sit with us. This woman actually asked me why. Because we look so good. <laughs> Let me talk to them. Let me talk to them. Hey guys. So we are on the way. We're going to this restaurant called Bonfire. I went there before, but I didn't vlog. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my outfit. That's what I want to show you guys. My outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Looks sexy. This one was following me all the way to the car, just saying hi, hi, like kicking kick with itself. But anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys. because I did not see all those questions when I was doing my makeup I don't know if you know people decided to wake up and remember more questions but I I would try my best to you know keep answering keep talking to you guys throughout the rest of this video and I hope it's not like too chaotic because I'm already feeling like it's very chaotic I don't know where the cover of this is it was in my purse but um this is the scent of the night, Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue. It really smells really, really good. I, I love it. I, I'm already getting comments on it. So we're smelling good. We're looking good. I'm gonna try to get some pictures in. I did try to get some pictures, but I wasn't getting something that I liked. So like the round of questions I got, the extra questions I got, like. The question that I really, really want to get into, I feel like with the way people are interested in, you know, what happened with my ex and I, like, I feel like a lot of people keep asking questions about it, and I just feel like, you know, I don't know, 
<laughs> you know what? I'm coming. Hi, Jules. To us, mm -hmm. friendship, family. I appreciate you guys. I'm glad I could spend this Christmas holiday with you all. I love you all. Love, love you too. Love you. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. the review one thing about this rosemary chicken uh -huh. slaps uh -huh. you know if you've been slept before <laughs> it's not this hard trust me uh -huh. chicken is the one so Chantal what's your favorite thing on the table <laughs> <laughs> have you acquired any taste no what, so what do you like this is not bad okay I want the steak uh -huh. Waiting on the steak. Ew. Beasley. Yeah. Big B. Personally, I like everything here. Yeah. Except the squid, which I refuse to try. Okay. Yeah. Did you like the soup from earlier? The pasta earlier? slap. The soup from before. Mm, the soup from before. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. This chicken right here. Mm. This is the love of my life. This chicken. Oh. I'm telling you. Okay. I can speak on the soup, the soup slab. Well, apparently, mm -hmm. I'm the only one that didn't acquire the, the soup taste. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. It's not for me. Sorry. Tongue. <laughs> the tongue needs to have that thing. If the tongue don't have that thing, uh -huh. you won't taste it. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh -uh. You taste, this is beef, right? You taste yeah. the beef in the sauce. The beef? You, yeah. Um, this is beef. Yeah, it's beef. This is it beef. is the, the beef, the history of the cow in the sauce. Oh, God. Hey, what you say about the cow? History so of the cow. Now you make me cow. feel like I'm 55. 55. 55. 55. This is 55. Yeah. Yeah. No, you make me feel like I'm 55. No, if the cow was 55, you can't eat. You can't Precious, even eat. Look at me. Can cows even live up to 55? You know now my problem what are is. What you saying? Busy making me feel like I'm eating a family man oh. on Christmas Day. Now I'm stressed about this man's family. But I've kids. had better sauces. Uh -uh. Like, I've, uh -uh. had better. Uh -uh. I've had better. Uh -uh. I've had better, mm. honestly. But it tastes okay it to me. Is. Out of 10, it's a 5 out of 10. No. It tastes better than me. I've, I've had better. I've had better. Alright, guys. So, we're going to get back into this. Q and A. And it's I'm full, the girl is happy. You know, when I eat a full girl, it's a happy girl. It's really quite noisy because they're doing some construction over there and they're playing some music. So I really do hope that you guys can hear me. Okay? Alright, so what is your shoe size? My shoe size is 39. If you're asking me this question, you need to buy me something. I need to receive a pair of shoes for Christmas end of the year new year whatever i'm a size 39 sneakers heels 39 what do you miss the most about nigeria my family that is the most i miss about being in nigeria it's my family i really really hate that i can't be with my family most of the time and in certain situations where you know all we can do is talk on the phone or try to comfort ourselves or just like uplift ourselves over the phone there's so much that could be way better in person um, i love watching your videos and how you handle your medical school so seriously it makes me wonder how your high school was like could you like give a brief experience of how you and life were back then from bottom to top um a brief experience of how I was back in high school. I think I was very stubborn. Um, I was very ambitious. I got to be like a health prefect in secondary school. I really didn't do clicks. At the end of the day, I just feel like my life back then, I think everything that happened, you know, contributed to shaping me into who I am right now. How I handle medical school. With medical school, I just do what I can in the capacity that I can. I really cannot tell you that, you know, I have it all figured out or I've hacked like a particular routine or a way to handle everything, but I just do my best. Do you still miss your ex O'Neill? 
do you guys still talk and if the opportunity presents itself would you guys get back together because honestly you guys were like a typical example of couple goals for me um i feel like you know at first i know i was really really feisty with the way i was answering this question but you know this has this i feel like this person whoever sent this question in has spoken for all of you but you know at the end of the day this is something i have addressed and this is something you know the way people will not let it go like it has really made me regret putting any of my relationships out here ever first off i'm just gonna say do not believe everything you see on social media like a lot of things can be portrayed as what it what is really not we were not perfect okay we had our disagreements we had our own differences there were things going on in that relationship that of course you guys are not going to know about it was kind of my fault for portraying that relationship like it was like very perfect but you know for something to be picture perfect on the outside that just goes to prove the point of not judging a book by its cover and i feel like a lot of people did that with my relationship with um this person no i don't think we're ever going to get back together we will never get back together it's something i never see happening and we do not talk i've already answered this question when i was doing my makeup before we don't have any reason to keep talking we don't even follow each other on social media so do i still miss my ex i never said that i miss my ex so i don't know like where i would have given this off i shared a lot of experiences with and there's a lot that i you know went through with this person i'm not going to come on here and you know discredit all that happened between us when we're together but like i do not miss this person i'm totally over this person uh maybe at the beginning of the breakup phase you know i could say that yes i used to miss this person but you know i'm over all that now like i'm good chacha is closed it's been closed for months so i feel like in as much as i've tried to you know move on move past it focus on myself focus on my future i feel like you guys should also join me on that journey like i really would appreciate if you guys would stop you know dragging this person back into my present or dragging what i had with this person back into my present whatever you have with your partner whatever you want to have with your own partner is your couple goals not what other people put out there on social media i don't know i know you guys really want me to sit down and give you the tea of okay this is exactly what happened this is what happened this and this and this and that but i really i'm not going to do that i'm so sorry but i really feel like that information is unnecessary to share with you guys there's really no need whatsoever and i know this is my fault for sharing this with you guys and i know it's not just me anything to this person but you know you guys you know were in a relationship with this person as well and you know you guys had to break up with this person as well and i do understand why you know some of you will need this closure about this relationship ending but i just please you know focus on me <laughs> You guys are taking shots. Yeah. Let me say hi to you. you say hi to them. Hey. And I, I don't think they can see. You need to sit uh, down. No, uh, you can just stay here. Okay. Hey, Did guys. you take your shots? No. Why? You seem like you're not coming in, so just have your. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. It's I'll okay. be in. It's okay. Bye. <laughs> oh God, this is the third shot I'm having today. You know, I've had like half a glass of wine. This is my third shot today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my alcohol tolerance has miraculously gone up, but I'm not feeling any of the alcohol. Like, I'm good. Maybe it's going to kick in later. I really don't know, but I'm good. What's the shortest and longest time you've been in a relationship? Like, how long did it last? The longest time I've been in a relationship is like two years. Do you miss any of your high school exes? See, if I had anything with you in high school, like if we were lip sync, smooching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we were not in a relationship, so I cannot say that like, I have any high school exes. It wasn't a relationship. Like I, have, I can't say that. It, it, like it, we were just figuring life out. We we're just figuring our sexualities out. Okay, like that's what it was. What part of your body do you appreciate the most? Right now, I don't have a favorite part of my body. I really don't. I want to say like my skin in general, like all over, like my skin in general. But honestly, I really don't know. Maybe my lips. 
Who's your celebrity crush? Burna boy, burna boy. All day, every day, burna boy. I love you so much, Donny. I'm afraid to approach you with such conversation. <laughs> I think probably on social media, I give off like this mean girl aura. I really don't know. If I do that, <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> I mean like, that's good and fine. Like, thank you so much. I don't know what it is that, you know, you see me that's making you feel that way towards me but i do appreciate that but you know at the end of the day i'm not in a position where you know i want to entertain you know those type of feelings so um is everything okay honestly no everything is not okay you know everything has not been okay for most of 2022 but um you know i'm, I'm really just doing my best to hang in there I really am. Since after getting out of that dark place with depression, I've been fighting to, you know, stay afloat, not get back into that depressive phase. But everything is not okay. I hope it will be okay. Which females do you follow to level up financially and glow up wise? Number one, Diera. She's a famous YouTuber. I follow her, I watch her videos, I see what she does on Instagram. I really, really, really do look up to her. Tamira Rodia, she's also a YouTuber. I really love her content. I like looking up to her. I like seeing how she does things. I know like it's not everything that they will like share with us, but I do know that, you know, going through life as a woman that's trying to like do things for yourself, like get a name for yourself, I know it's not easy, you know? And you know, watching them just like come on here, still show up for themselves, still show up for their platforms, like their fan base. It, I've been through it. I know most times I come on here, I'm smiling, you know, I'm kicking with you guys, but I know my life, like my whole world, could be crumbling like to pieces. But at the end of the day, like it is what it is, you just have to do what you have to do. And even if my mom is no longer with us, like I still look back on her achievements and how she used to carry herself and the things that she achieved when she was here and that is more than enough encouragement that's more than enough drive for me honestly i don't know how long this video is gonna be because i'm vlogging i'm giving you guys a whole chit chat i really hope i can cut it down to a reasonable number of minutes but bruh i've been chatting a lot right now i need to go back and join my friends but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video it was chaotic i think it was chaotic but um i will see you guys in my next one you guys be good i hope each and every one of you make it into the new year i love and appreciate you guys so much your love your cherish i really hope the best for each and every one of us okay I love you. See you next time. Bye.